Oh, radio. What's going on guys? Todd here from Ongoing Adventures again today. So this episode I'm going to just want to show you guys the difference between tire deflation and kits you can get. So I've always used your general manual tire deflator and I've not long ago just brought the Maxi Track tire self deflator from the Retco from the local store here. So my plan is today is to show you guys how to properly use them and how, they, and how quickly these guys can go down between the two. So I'm about to show you guys how to use this tire deflator right now and how to properly screw it on, screw it off, let the air out and go down to your pressure. So today guys, our goal is to about get down to about 20 PSI. I'm running about 38 on this at the moment. Let's get cracking. I'll see if I can get a timer up and see how we go on that. So you go use it. So with the tire deflator, obviously you remove your cap. You just want to get this on here, just get it lined up nicely. Screw this valve here on. Go all the way until it's nice and firm. So just like that. So now that valve is screwed on, you want to get your back valve. Just sort of push down a little bit and unscrew it. So you're pushing down and unscrewing it backwards. So once you get to about a fair way, and you'll see the bar starts coming out a little bit, and then you want to do is pop it out and pull that valve. So by popping that out, it moves a little tongue in here, pull the valve out, this front one here now, and that's how you get your tire depression, tire inflation depression kit where I can finally get air down. So now I'm gonna do is just watch this gauge. And by pulling it out, um, what I've done, it just lets the air come out real quick. And then you wanna quickly close it in every so often to see how much your pressure gauge has gone down. So my goal at the moment is to go down at um, 25 PSI from 38. So there you go guys, I'm now down to 25. So what you want to do is just constantly pull it out, push it back in again, just to check to see where that pressure valve is, because it only does check it once you lock it back in. So right you guys, I'm now gonna do the reverse opposite effect, now putting it all back together and unscrewing this valve. Right there you guys, so now that we are on 25 PSI from down to from 38, I just want to now lock this back in and remove this tie deflator. So you just push it in, and then you're just winding it back up whilst you're holding it in a little bit. So once that one's now locked in, you go back to this valve and just unwind it from the tire. Easy as that guys. Put your cap back on. And this tire is set to go. Didn't take too long at all. I'm pretty happy. I've always used these. I've used about 10 years. But the reason for this video is because when I very first got one of these when I was young and dumb, I never knew how to use one. Um, so this video is hoping to help you guys how to use one of these. Now we've done with that one. I'm now going to use you, show you guys how to use these nice little maxi tracks self tie deflators, which it comes in a kit of four with its own little baggie. And now the good thing about these guys, these are presetable. So what you do with these, you just come along, unscrew that little cap, and your numbers are in just so here. So I want to go down to say 25 again. So I just wind at the 25. Once you get to that 25 mark, screw your cap back on lock it in and it's easy as that. So what we're going to quickly do, um, I'm going to just quickly pump this tire back up and then we'll use these bad boys. So give us a quick second. Right, yeah. Now the tire's pumped back up to uh, 38, between 38 and 40. I've got my Maxi Track uh, self tire deflator to preset the 25. Um, these are easy to quickly preset and they do come in a pack of four so you can do all four tires at once when you're running these bad boys, rather than running, uh, doing one tie individually with your manual one. So let's quickly get into this bad girl and wind her on. So all you do guys, so you've got your, your gauge set to 25, you locked it in, same sort of method, you just screw it on. Just like that guys, and all you do is just grab this little lever and just pull it out like that guys. Now it's locked in the place, this should preset down about 25. Right, yeah. 
So now it just made a little pop sound. The valve's just locked in, which means it's now down to about 25 PSI. Good thing about this is, there's nothing much more to do. Just make sure it's pushed in and just unscrew it. Easy as that, guys. What I'll do now, I'll just quickly check it and see how accurate these are, because these are the very first time I have used them. Boom. Pretty damn good, you reckon, to me? There's 20, that's about 25. Probably about one PSI out. That's pretty freaking good to me, I reckon. I'm happy with those. Now, in saying that, once again, do your cat back up and we're ready to go for beach drive, four wheel drive, mud driving, depending on what you guys set your pressures to, to what you guys are doing on the day. Now, hopefully, this video is pretty handy. I've, like I said, I've never used these Max Etrax tie deflators before. These are pretty freaking good. Like I said, it's just easy to quickly unscrew that little cap and preset the pressure you want. So you can get them, like, obviously, there's 30, 25, 20, 15, and 10. So, Depending on what you guys are doing, I generally like to start on 20 for when I do better beach driving. So I could lock these off to 20 and press don't and go away again. Like I said guys, these are really fantastic. Lock your pressure in. Screw it, screw the valve onto your tire flow cap and then just pull it out. It locks in, air comes out. It would reflate down and you hear that little pop sound at the very end as it goes back in. That means it's done. Just unscrew it and you're good to go. Fantastic little kit guys. This is the first time you use them. I'm going to start using these on the tracks. But I always will also carry my manual tire to play just because I need to change it on the fly there and then depending on what I'm doing. Hope this video does help you guys out. Um, so pressure and tires, as all you guys should know, these are handy to have knowing your pressures for what you're doing, especially as beach diving, because depending on what the sand's like, you might have to go from 20, 15, down to 10, depending on how soft it is and if you get bobs or not. Hope this video has been handy for you guys. Keep tracking. I'll see you out in the field on the tracks on ongoing adventures. And just like that, another episode of Ongoing Adventures is done. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to all your friends and family. And I'll catch you on the next one.